This is Cherry Elite's prop. This is Blue Mariella Jappii. It, what it does is it makes these little tiny circular reddish brown spots on the upper surface of leaves. And these leaves here have so many spots that they've already lost all their color chlorophyll and will probably begin to fall off the tree. Um, I'll show you some other pictures later where you can see some earlier symptoms where there's a few spots and the leaves are still green. But for the most part, uh, these are on the verge of being able to defoliate it. Sometimes you can get some shot holing. I can use the old mouse to point and you can begin to see, oh, that little circle is going to fall right out and they get that ugly chlorosis color and then they will drop prematurely. Um, in theory, if you flip the leaf over and you had some equipment, you could see the echinidia of the fungus underneath the leaves on the spots. And what this will end up doing for the most part is it can, if you don't get good foliage, you're going to get small, unevenly ripe fruit. The leaves will defoliate off the tree and they won't overwinter well. You'll get poor vigor, poor bud set for next year and overwintering and the chance of your stone fruit getting uh, hurt by winter injury or just having a poorer year next year because of the buds not overwintering will be, will be greater. And so it's not so much that they get rid of your crop that year, is that they put your tree at risk for some um, severe um, vigor and growing problems. What else do we say about it? Uh, most of the uh, IPM type things to do to this one, or here's some, you can see some pictures finally of some young leaves that haven't been completely decimated yet. And they will eventually go to yellow. The planning, or, or really do your best to prune to get airflow through the canopy. Don't let your um, your peach, I mean your, your cherry tree just look like a big bush and planted in a hollow where you don't get no wind. Um, you can do a lot for this disease just by getting good flow through the canopy. And then the only other thing that's really recommended across all sources is you start your management program as soon as the leaves emerge. And this can go on for quite some time because the leaves don't fall off the tree until the fall. For the most part, your brown rot fungicide program will, uh, will do the job for you. And um, there's a lot of resistance in Michigan, but we grow so few cherries in New York, I would suspect that our local populations might still be affected by many things. If you're in a really heavy producing area and you've got cherry leaf spot from year to year to year and you keep putting on your materials, then uh, you could have some. But for the most part, a lot of the things that we would talk about or use would, be, would still be effective if you were to start a new planting. Um, a lot of things that they mentioned too is the post-harvest fungicide. And you know, this, this disease is just gonna keep going even after you pick all the fruit off the tree and then they'll prematurely defoliate. So it's kind of a frustrating thing. You think, oh, I'm finished with the fruit, I can walk away. Nope, um, if you get the early defoliation, the trees will be very sad and, and uh, they won't overwinter well. You might not get good bud set for next year and they'll just keep, um, this the fungus will just keep running them into the ground year to year to year and you won't get a good crop the next year. So. The post-harvest fungicide application can some instances be just as important as the ones during the season. So even though you think, oh, the fruit are gone, don't give up on cherry leaf spot. It can be a troublemaker the entire season.